Hey there team, check it out. The sun is out, spring has sprung. Uh, so that means I'm back out of hibernation and it's time to start planning my lawn renovation. So if you're new to the channel, uh, make sure you go back and have a look at some of my older videos. I've done one about how to prep for your spring renovation. Uh, and I've also done one about DIY soil testing, but today's episode, I'm actually gonna focus on doing a full soil sample so I can get a real soil analysis of my property for the first time. Um, it's almost a little bit common. I've offered soil analysis and soil testing as part of my business probably for the last 18 or so months, um, residentially, commercially, uh, and all of the above, and yet, I've never actually got my own lawn done. Um, so I've done a couple of little DIY tests and things like that. I've done one major renovation where I amended based on pH results of a DIY kit. So I'm actually really, really keen to see what's actually going on in the soil in terms of deficiencies and everything uh, and get those amended and get the most out of my lawn. What I like about the full soil analysis is you can look at your important macronutrients and one of the deficiencies that comes up quite often um, when I'm dealing with customers is potassium deficiencies. And that's something that the DIY kits can't really test for, but also calcium, magnesium. Obviously you go through all the nutrients, you can look at trace levels and start amending those as well. But for me, I'm just really interested to see if my soil is still acidic. I, I imagine it probably I have used pH probe recently and it said that it's still reading acidic. So I'm keen to actually see what the pH is, what my calcium levels are like as well, because then that will help me determine what calcium product I use. So would I just use gypsum or would I use something like lime or dolomite that's going to raise the pH but also uh, provide calcium to the plant. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple samples from my lawn. So soil, soil testing, I'm going to be honest and I'm probably the worst salesperson ever saying this, but it's quite expensive and I think that's something that's important to note and important to budget. I get the argument of, well, you could be wasting money on product and it's not actually, you're not getting the most out of your product. Yes, absolutely. But soil testing is also about 120 bucks. Um, and then on top of that, you're going to have to still pay for your product as well. So just keep that in uh, In terms of what the best time of year to do soil testing, you can do it year round. So it doesn't matter if you've just sort of bought a new house and you're in, in winter or whatever, you can still get your soil tested. However, arguably the best time to get your soil tested is actually now. Um, before you do your spring lawn renovation. And the reason for that is typically when we do our lawn renovations, we've scalped the lawn and we're aerating. So there's holes already in the ground. We have direct access to the root zone. So if there, there are any amendment products you need to add, you can add them then and there and they'll get right down into the core holes. So that's why it's sort of beneficial to do your soil test first and then do your spring lawn renovation. However, there are a number of products on the market now that you can still amend your soil after. Um, so don't stress if you've gone early in Queensland and you've already done your reno but you haven't done your soil test, you can still do it the other way around. So I'm gonna take about five or so samples along this lawn. Um, we'll see how soft the ground is. I'm gonna use a pro plugger. You can use any type of sampling tool. I know you can get those uh, little small core tools. You can use a, sh a shovel. It's, you know, it's don't overcomplicate it. I think sometimes people overcomplicate things and buy all these U-Butte gadgets. Just get to the dirt. That's all you really wanna do. So, all right. I've taken the rings off the pro plugger because I want maximum depth. So usually your soil samples are from a certain depth. So make sure you actually got something and you're going down pretty low into the ground. Okay, so I'll just show you the samples. And this is usually what I like about this, if it works.
Now, there's a couple of rules with soil testing that I think that everybody should follow. So rule number one of Fight Club is don't take your samples when you have fertilized your lawn. So that's going to skew your results. Um, some nutrients will show higher than they should. So right now you should see the lawn's quite a lime green, light green color. It's not that beautiful dark green when it's been fertilized. So this has not had granular fertilizer for three months or longer, and it's not had any liquid fertilizer for six plus weeks at the moment. So I'm making sure that this is absolutely starving so that I get a baseline reading for my nutrients. Rule number two, when you take your samples, you wanna get it from about 100 mil down. So you don't wanna take this upper layer here. Um, that's not where the roots are sort of getting the nutrients from in the soil. So you wanna take it at a depth of 100 mil and lower. You wanna get it pretty deep. I'm just gonna cut them here. Now I'm gonna keep these. Uh, I'm gonna put some 80, 20 or whatever sand I've got lying around and I'll put these back in the ground and they'll keep growing. Then I'm not left with a heap of um, damage stuff. So I'm gonna keep them. This one's got a lot of 80, 20 in it. So this, this one, I can tell it's quite different. I might not send it away. It was really, really soft to go into. It's where we've done the edge of that driveway. So it's actually quite a nice sample. And I know that this soil is not nice. All right. My husband's going to love that I'm using this knife. <laughs> That's all right, I'll just give it to the child I like least tonight for dinner. You can't say that. Look at those roots. All right, I reckon, that's, I reckon that'd be about 500 grams. So now I'm gonna bag that up. And essentially the process will be the same regardless of who you sort of get your soil test through. You'll then send that away. Um, I arrange for mine through my business to get sent direct to the lab, then the lab send the analysis to me and then I sort of do the calculations and recommendations from that. So I'm just gonna squash them up get them in the bag and I'm doing that just so then it's they're getting sort of mixed around so you're getting a nice average representation of the soil that I'm dealing with when the lab go to test it the soil test is more so about figuring out where you're at what your baseline is what you need to correct before you jump onto your standard um, nutrition regime so it doesn't matter what brand of fertilizer you use whether you grab the stuff at Bunnings whether you're you know, team ICL or team whatever, who cares? Um, you can still get your soil test, amend it, and then follow the program of, of whoever you want. Um, so you can follow Nick's programs, um, you can follow whoever's programs, but it is important to try and get a soil test first, just to make sure that, um, you know, you're not gonna be doing more harm than good. So I'm gonna say that that's about 500 grams actually. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll double check it on the scales. But I'm gonna bag this up, um, send it off Australia Post to the lab. Soil test turnaround time is usually about two to three weeks, especially this time of the year. They're absolutely smashed with um, samples. So allow two to three weeks to hear back. Uh, and then yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. But once I get the results, I'll, I'll make sure that I share it with you guys and say how I'm gonna incorporate it into my lawn reno. So that means my lawn reno is gonna be in about one month's time. So it'll be nice and hot and I'll probably be dying, that's great. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. That's gonna be me for today. Just a nice short, sharp episode to, you know, just put my feet back in the water and see how, see how cold things are. But um, yeah, you'll be seeing a lot more of me this season. I plan to do regular content. Uh, as per last season. Um, if you are interested in a soil test, make sure you jump um, to the link in the description. As I said, you don't need to be following one of my programs. You can follow whoever's program you want, but it is important to know what's actually happening in your soil to get the most out of your money. All right, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next week.